Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Winston Media. Hope you're all doing well. And on today's video, I'll sh be showing you my adventure between Cachula and Vela Luca. So the idea at the moment is the Tour de Croatia. I'm proud to announce that so far we've raised 235 Australian dollars for Beyond Blue, which is anxiety, depression, and mental health. So look, if you are enjoying the content, please, I suppose, give generously whatever you can afford. It would be much appreciated. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google Maps and show you some of the gradients that we went up and also the exact route that we did take myself and Steve. So in total, it was 44 kilometers one way, but then we cycled back. But I'll be just showing you in this video uh, just the one way trip between Cortula and Vallaluca. So we'll go over to the Google Maps and I'll show you the exact route that we did take on this Sunday afternoon trip. So here's Google Maps, and as you can see, we started in Cachula and ended up all the way down to Vallaluca. Now, in total, probably took me approximately four, four and a half hours to do the cycle, and some of the gradient points as far as above sea level at some stages we were 550 meters above sea level so <laughs> it certainly was a challenge i certainly did sweat it up which you will see in this video upcoming but the experience has been great i've been learning about croatian culture some of the scenery is just absolutely amazing here in the dalmatians and you know what i would say about croatian people that they are extremely friendly they're extremely giving of their time and um if you obviously need any help they really do uh go above and beyond to uh, help out tourists and I suppose uh, try their best to make um, you know an experience for an Australian guy uh, as happy as possible. I'd also like to uh, proudly say that I've dropped approximately between 12 and 14 kilos. Um, when I left Melbourne I was at, at about 110 and I was uh, blown out a bit the big fella was so I'm down about 96, 97 kegs and I'm, I'm feeling amazing so like this place has uh, certainly done my mental health, uh, you know, absolute wonders, but also the waistline is starting to come down. So look, um, what I'm also going to do is quickly, as I mentioned before, we've raised $235 uh, for Beyond Blue. So I'm going to bring up that link now also. So as you can see in this Beyond Blue website, $235 Australian dollars has been raised. Pretty proud of that. So... To all the people that have donated, I really do appreciate it. I feel the Australian government doesn't do enough in, in this realm. And, you know, uh, Beyond Blue is an organisation that helped me pick myself up off the canvas, um, you know, in some of my darkest times. And, you know, I, I know how hard it can be to uh, kind of get out of that realm, no matter what you're going through in life. So, um, you know, I just wanted to say that uh, they are a great organisation that do help a lot of people. But they do need uh, donations from the general public. That's basically how it works. So look, if you are enjoying the content that I'm posting up here in Croatia, Tour de Croatia, please, um, if you feel like if you feel like it or you can afford to, anything uh, is gonna help me get to my target. As you can see, of well, I was meant to be $2,000, it's 1,995 officially, but um, I'm gonna leave this link open in the bio, in the description box here on the YouTube. And uh, as I mentioned, please give generously. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I hope you learned something about uh, the ride between Cachula and Vallaluca. I wish you all the best and uh, take care out there and love you all.
Hello. How beautiful is this? What's your name, sir? Your name? Derek. 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 Yeah. Uh, Robbie. Robbie. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Uh -huh. Well, enjoy your cycle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a little stop here for a little bit, five minutes, and then mm. keep going. Mm. Are you you live on the island now, yeah? You, you live here? In Lombardo. Lombardo, yeah. Nice. Lombardo, a few days and next. Go home. We, we have to go home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, where do we live? Warsaw? Warsaw, pa no. Near, near to Katowice is Upper Silesia, you know? Uh huh. There's, there's a lot of. There was a lot of. Uh, coal mined. Coal mining, yep. yeah. It's, it's, now it's everything is finished, but yeah, area it was industrial uh -huh. area, but now is but now is okay. <laughs> nice. Well, Derek, enjoy your day, mm -hmm. and uh, you go down. No, I'm gonna go this way because oh. I did that two days ago. So uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, enjoy. We are currently 18 kilometers into the 44 kilometer trip, just gone past Pupnatska Luka, which I was at the other day. We're sort of on the, the downslope roads going past Pupnatska Luka. I mean, the scenery is just vibrant, it's beautiful, clear skies, got a great day for it as well. But you've always got to be really careful of cars flying by, you know, that's one thing with cycling that I've sort of uh, taken for granted over the years. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so all throughout Kachula, as I've been cycling over the last few days, you do see these I'm not sure if you call them ancient, but they are extremely old. I'd imagine hundreds of years old. These crosses, these memorials, and I suppose, you know, um, sites where they remember people um, <laughs> from yesteryear. But they're interesting. I'd like to find out more about them. But yeah, they're uh, fully made of stone, and yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Either that or blue stone. I'd say blue stone, but might even have a closer look. See, there we go. Can't make out the name, but 1637, if you can see that. So, you see these all, all around Kachula.
go up. Fuck. Okay, we're just outside the front of the Tommy. We found the local homeless cat society. And we're feeding, feeding the little guys. They're bloody hungry. Hey. Got a bit of food there. Got no love, man. Just want a bit of love. Hey! Hey! Yeah, like, I'm up. Hey! That's That's right. I thought you had a few days. Bloody skin and bone, this one. Problem being, is it? Yeah. Doing the right thing, Stevie boy, eh? How you feeling, Stevie boy? Going alright? Good, Bibba. About nine miles to go. Here we go. Hey everyone, about uh, a mile and a half away from Prisba. 12 miles in total. And uh, yeah, just coming along these rocky roads. The scenery is beautiful, uh, but the inclines do really do kill you. So I'm getting a good bit at the moment. Just gliding down right beside the, uh, the, the coast. Um, and it's unbelievable, like, it's Sunday afternoon and I could be in the middle of nowhere. I could be on like some forgotten tropical island. So, absolutely loving the experience.
Not a bad car park. Hi. Hello, camera idea. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Prisba. How good is this? 